Just gave the whip a wash so it's looking clean. Okay, so as the title says, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a free mod. It's really a cooling mod. So I did take off the intake already. But if you are unaware of, well, I've seen a couple of videos on this. There's a couple ways to do it. I think this is one of the best ways. So Nissan slash Infinity, they came up with this uh, cooling system where let's say you live in a colder climate, like, you know, in the north, like uh, Canada, where it gets really cold. So as you know, this is a coolant line that runs through the throttle body right right there where that clamp is so what happens is uh warm coolant runs through the throttle body so it warms it up and the reason is because like i said if you live in a cold climate where it can get uh frozen or it's it snows um the warm coolant warms the throttle body up so that way the flap inside it goes like this it doesn't freeze so that is how the cooling system works for um, the throttle body and the VQs. I'm pretty sure it's the same shit as um, G37s, uh, you know, VQ uh, HRs, same thing. All right, so I've taken off the plenum, as you can see. And this is how the cooling system works for the throttle body. Just so you guys believe me. The coolant runs through here, runs out through here, and here's where it warms it up warms up the flap from the throttle body i'm going to be using this i got it from o'reilly's it's a 3 8 uh, doorman uh, it's a nylon fuel line that you will have to remove this vacuum hose and obviously the two hoses underneath which we're modifying uh, the two cooling the two cooling hoses and then this vacuum hoses so obviously three in total and that should come off and then the rest is just you know you just take off the plant bolts and obviously this as well and this all right, so these are the hoses that connect to the throttle body. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use these hose clamps and you know, connect them together. So now the coolant from down, from down here, it'll still circulate. You really could just plug these up how I did with this. You could plug this up and plug the back one. But the reason why I'm not doing that is because Again, in the winter, I will be uh, plugging these up probably again to the throttle body. So I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, putting, plugging them up and then taking off the plugs in the winter and installing the hoses. And here it is. As you can see, it is now connected. Here it is with it installed. As you can see, it's just in the back there tucked. no more connected to the car. one thing to know is you do want to make sure that your car does not overheat you want to make sure uh, that you bleed it you know just in case because obviously air get, does get in there there's an air pocket but it's a very very small chance that's even gonna happen but just to be on safe side and just so you guys are aware because I don't want you to put any the blame on me like oh you know you made me do this mod now my car is overheating so yeah, definitely check that so it doesn't overheat. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude today's video. If you have any more questions, as always, just let me know. Check out my Instagram at uh, DTHWSH, which is Death Wish Abbreviate. Peace out, guys.